Good morning vlog. Today is Tuesday and I'm gonna start out sort of like a vlog week this week. I know I missed Monday but I chatted with you guys on Instagram and you said that you don't mind that I missed Monday. So I'm actually just in my kitchen right now. I'm just waiting for my face mask timer which is the ordinary salicylic acid one and then I also have a hair mask in on the same timer. It's the Gizu honey infused one and that one is my favorite. I, I was generously gifted a few of their products including the hair mask and I fell in love with them so I actually just placed an order on Sephora to get their hair wash and conditioner because I cannot recommend their products more and I'm also drinking my coffee which I made just before my shower so it's still really nice and warm. I sort of have my day mapped out in my planner. It's a little bit late, it's nearly noon, but I was super tired after a really long day yesterday. I was up from 6 a.m. till like 1 a.m. So I slept very late today to catch up on my sleep. My timer is just about to go off now, but I will catch up with you guys when I'm out of the shower. I have a lot of admin work to do, a little bit of cleaning. I might shoot some content later today, and then I also have a Zoom event scheduled with Evio Beauty, so I will take you guys along and catch up with you once I'm a little bit more ready. My Sephora order just arrived, so I'll quickly just show you guys what I got. I'm so excited! So I needed a new bronzer, so I decided to try out the Marc Jacobs Omega Bronzer in Coconut Perfect Tan. The color that I think I would have aimed toward was sold out, so I'm just going to give this one a go. And then from Gizu, I bought their Honey Infused Hair Wash and Honey Infused Hair Conditioner because, like I just said, that I bought them because I was so obsessed with the mask and with their other products. And I'm upset because it came literally right after I washed my hair, so I'm gonna have to wait a couple days to try this out. And then I just used some redemption points and collected my samples, obviously, as one does with Sephora. Alright, and just in case anyone was wondering, I'm usually fairly organized, but on busy weeks my planner ends up looking like this, aka a disaster, crossing things out, adding things in, scribble writing everywhere, so kind of have a lot going on, um, but a few of the highlights of this week are going to be an Evio Zoom event tonight. Um, on Thursday, I'm going to Cosmetic Culture for Sauna, Facial, Brow, Tint, Wax, and Lamination, the whole works. And on Saturday, I'm transforming my hair with Dusty at Mod Salon. So yeah, I'll take you guys along for all of that, but I just wanted to share like this little inside scoop of how messy and cluttered my planner can get sometimes. All right, so my Zoom event is in 20 minutes and I still need to get ready. So I'm just wearing um, this ribbed turtleneck from Princess Polly. It's good neutral to wear and I'm just gonna throw on some quick, easy makeup. Got concealer on my jeans so love that for me okay I don't know I got it half off and they're black jeans so I can kind of always fix that later All right, so I just got my makeup done in less than 15 minutes and I have five minutes left before my Zoom event. So I'm gonna flip my laundry because I've been doing laundry today and uh, get to it. Just finished the event with Evio. It was super cool. Um, met with so many amazing people on there and now I'm getting ready quick to go to dinner.
Mm, thank you. Hello vlog day two. I honestly didn't pick up my camera today except for I shared that Dale made me this really yummy morning coffee. He did like brewed coffee, vanilla, oat creamer and cinnamon and then like frothed it all together and it was so good and besides that i just snuggled up at my computer all day and now it's time for work but i'll pick up my camera all day tomorrow i have such an exciting morning at cosmetic culture i'm just like so excited to like feel good and hopefully tackle some of my mask knee so yeah today's wednesday but um thursday friday saturday this week are gonna be super busy so I just didn't didn't really film too much today I didn't want to bore everybody and yeah so that's about it headed to Dairy Queen now you guys know the drill I'm gonna put on my cute outfit gotta get the mask on and yeah I will see y'all tomorrow good morning it's a vlog day number three yeah today is a Thursday and I got up I had a shower I didn't wash my hair um, but I did do my skincare but I'm just gonna make my morning coffee right now I'm actually gonna try to make what Dale made for me yesterday so it was the vanilla oat creamer with cinnamon and like frothed up together all in the coffee it was so delicious so I'm gonna try making that again. I'll show you. All right, so I chose like my biggest mug that I have because this coffee gets like stirred up with my little handheld frother. I'm just gonna add regular brewed coffee first. It's probably good. All right, then this is the vanilla one that I'm using. It's really sweet, just a warning, but that's kind of what I'm going for right now. And then a bunch of cinnamon. Use the electric frother. Okay, then I'm gonna Instagram this part here. I'm just gonna add some extra cinnamon to the top for decoration. All right, and I have about 30 or so minutes before I need to leave for my appointment. So I'm just going to have my coffee I just made warm up some leftover tofu scramble we are out of bread so i can't make toast with it which is so sad um and then i'm gonna go on my computer and work through some emails and yeah that's the plan okay i have like cinnamon in my throat right now it's like five minutes until i'm meant to leave for my appointment and then i'm just talking to my friend and right after my appointment, we're gonna meet up and take some photos. So I'm getting a facial, obviously. So I need to like bring makeup and bring an outfit. And then like, I'm just gonna slick my hair back because like, we're not gonna deal with her today. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna just go like run around, scramble to get some makeup and pick an outfit that I think will like look good on my feet. I actually have zero content right now because um, since I'm getting my hair done on Saturday, I just like haven't been taking any photos because I'm waiting so I can have like that super fresh content, my nice hair. I can't wait for you guys to see what I'm getting done. Like we're transforming my hair. It's not gonna be anything that I've done before. I'm super excited. All right, five minutes later and I have my makeup, I have my hair care, some perfume, um, a face mask, and just gotta grab an outfit. 
so I look like a mess, but I packed up an outfit. It has a skirt, so I didn't really want to wear it like in when I'm just gonna be like laying down and getting changed again and all this stuff. So I'm just wearing like literally pajamas under this. I'm um, gonna go in, I'll show you guys around, and I'm starting off with a sauna. And I'm really excited because I've never really done that, like a little bit, like five minutes at a time kind of thing. So yeah, I'm super excited. I've never really been like this pampered before. So we just had our consultation and I'm gonna have a hydroabrasion done and then we're gonna put like serums and things like in it and then after do some extractions because your girl has some blackheads for sure. They're so fluffy. <laughs> I think I forgot to share my skin directly after, but it was very red and inflamed from all of the extractions. I had an amazing time at the appointment, oh my goodness. And now I'm just quickly doing my makeup. I'm in a parkade and I'm meeting with Danielle in a minute to shoot a look right before I have to head to work. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So luckily I got my brows um, laminated and tinted and waxed. So like I don't really have to do my brows, just like quick like complexion and eye makeup. So that's what I'm up to. And this is the fit. So tennis skirt, Zara booties, uh, turtleneck, and then my big leather thrifted jacket. Okay, so shooting with Danielle went well and we grabbed coffees and something to eat because I'm starving. So good thing for that. And now it's after four and uh, my boss called me in at five and then he called me in at four and then I was like, how about 4.30? Um, because I also forgot my work pants. Sorry, this is a weird tangent, but I forgot my work pants and I live so far away from work. So I'm gonna start at 4.30. So now I have time to go to Walmart and just buy some pants. Um, usually people would just wear black leggings to work. I wear dress pants, but I'm kind of thinking that I might look for some yoga pants or as the youngings call them, <laughs> flared leggings. Um, just cause I feel like that's a Walmart thing to have, but yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Get some pants that I can wear to work and maybe I'll grab another snack while I'm in here because I'm still kind of hungry from the little treat with coffee. Okay. So... I found the yoga pants and also these slippers. They're kind of like dark so you can't really see them, but they look just like the UGG slippers except for the band is like a plain band instead of having the UGG logo on them. And it's like winter time, so super cute. And they'll keep me nice and cozy and warm. And then yeah, the pants were only like $19. So if anyone's looking for, <laughs> it's so hard to say, flared leggings, Walmart has got you. Just made it to work, so I'm gonna get changed and work my shift. Good morning vlog, it's a Friday now, and it is snowing outside already. So we had snow last weekend, um, but it just kinda covered the grass and went away. And now I guess we just have snow. It says snowfall warning for all day and lucky me, I did not buy winter tires yet this year. So I really have to do that. And here, I'll show you guys how it looks outside. It doesn't look all too bad yet, but it's only 8 a.m. So it can definitely just keep snowing all day. Yeah, it doesn't look that bad, but it is only 8 a.m. So it could just keep going all day until there's like blankets of snow everywhere. So love that for me. I wanted to stay home today and relax before work, but I guess I'm going to go find winter tires. I've never bought my own tires before. So this is the vibe that we're going for all day today except for the fact that I have to go buy winter tires and go to work today. So this would have been the vibe all day 
and I'll stick to it for as long as I can. Look at how my skin is after this facial yesterday. definitely feel like it looks worse and I want to trust the process that maybe the extractions end up getting inflamed but last night I had to pop a few like big whiteheads I know TMI but like I shouldn't have had to do my own extractions the night after getting a facial like I don't think I don't know it was my first facial so I really hope that this is normal well I hope it's not normal actually because like I really don't prefer to look like this after getting treated um and there's some on this side too it's kind of like not focusing but yeah i just hope that this isn't what happens to me after a facial or like if i hope they didn't do anything wrong but i'll see how everything looks tomorrow and that's when i'm getting my hair done so after tomorrow it's like finally time to take new content <sighs> So here is the snow update. That's just our lawn. And look at that. It's gonna be snowing literally all day. So crazy. And I think I already said this, but it's only October. So this much snow is like a once in an every few years thing. Like this is not that normal. Um, I'm still working on getting at tires. I literally called so many places who could do the switchover swap for me. One place said that they can get me in on the 10th. One place cut me off. I didn't even finish asking when is your next available appointment for and I was already being cut off and they were like November 27th and I was like okay bye. Like I, I don't know how to act to being cut off and yelled at. Like thanks for the answer it's not what i needed anyways um oh, and then i had someone else say november 3rd so that's still like a week away and then my dad said that he can pick me up and go buy tires with me and drop them off at another place that can hopefully do them in the next like i don't know three days they didn't even give me a time so they said i could drop them off today i don't even know what that means for time wise and i'm working on getting my shift tonight covered because like i don't know what else to do i can't really drive so yeah just gonna have a nice snow day in assuming i can get this shift covered and i don't know just kind of stay cozy i washed my hair um and i tried to deal with these pimples and I messaged the salon or the spa and I told them what happened and they said it might just be too much heavy products on my skin so I'm just confused because they chose my skincare and then they didn't say like don't use x y or z when you go home tonight or anything like that so I just did my normal skincare routine last night and even before I did my skincare routine last night I already was getting whitehead so like it wasn't anything I did, I don't feel like. So I think that that's not really like good. Dad picked me up and now we're at Starbucks. Dad, tell me what you just ordered at Starbucks. No whip, no nay nay. Me nay nay. Watch me whip, kill it. Watch me nay nay. Okay. Now watch me whip, whip, watch me nay nay. Hey, you all right so my tires are done luckily my dad knew everybody at the tire shop and like everybody at the service shop so even though there was a million people in line we kind of just like got my tires done really quick so blessed for that and now i'm in bed eating popcorn my dad is gonna bring me the tires because i can't drive and he's gonna bring me A and W, and I'm so hungry. So today's turning out to be a pretty good day. Watch some Netflix, just like chill out. I don't have to go to work, so 
just live my best life. I have a lot of work to do for Instagram and YouTube, but I really feel like today's a good day to do nothing. This was a mini bag of popcorn, by the way, but I'm not quite done it yet. And then that is my A&W Beyond Burger that my dad brought me. I get it with no cheese and no sauce at all, extra pickles. And then when I get it home, I reheat the patty, add a slice of vegan cheese, and then I add vegan mayo and vegan ketchup. I guess just regular ketchup. I don't even know if that's vegan, um, but just so I don't have the egg. Um, and yeah. I know it's kind of extra, but that's how I like it. And just gonna keep watching my movie. Oh, hello. I'm leaving in like 10 minutes, so I need to start the car. It's freezing out. Oh my God. I'm literally frozen from walking to my car. My car is actually like a little bit warm, thank goodness, but it's still like all snowy, so I gotta go scrape it. And then I'm gonna go vote, because I don't know how many of you are from British Columbia, but we have the snap election, and today is voting day. I didn't go to any of the early polls, so today's the day. I hate winter so much. Okay, all right, I just got to the salon now. I'm super excited and um, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll share some little behind the scenes uh, while I do it, but I'm also gonna film a full video for YouTube. So if anyone's interested in the full process or further details, that video will be up shortly. Okay, you guys, I just got out of the salon and I'm amazed. It looks so good. She did such a great job. And now I'm like totally ready to be able to get content again and get photos again. I've been texting Danielle the entire appointment being like how excited I am and we're gonna go shoot tomorrow. A whole bunch of looks. So stay tuned for some behind the scenes of shooting content. I know a few of you were asking for more behind the scenes content stuff. And I also wanted to remind you guys that if you want to see more of the behind the scenes on my hair, my next upload video is going to be the come to the salon video with me. So make sure you turn on the bell notification so you'll be notified when that video goes live. I'd love for you guys to get to kind of see the process a little bit more. I'm super obsessed with it and with these like highlight pieces here. I'll actually put some of my inspo pictures again up on the screen here. So what we were kind of going for was blending my natural color with the blonde bits. So some of these photos are kind of like a little bit lighter than what I have, but that's because their natural color was a bit lighter. It was more the texture and the style that we were going for for those ones. But yeah, I'm super obsessed. And now it's um, just after two. I really need to eat something and um, maybe I'll hang out with Dale a little bit, kind of see what we get up to today. And then I have all my shooting to get ready for, for tomorrow, picking out outfits and everything like that. So I will pick up my camera next time I do something exciting and keep you guys updated for the weekly vlog. This is an ice pack. Because Dale picked me up. And then I flailed. And there was, what is that called? Kettlebell. A kettlebell on the ground. And I hit my head on it. So now I'm in bed. This is gonna be me. Okay, so my camera died last night after I did that little painting thing, which was fun. And then Dale and I ended up redoing our room, which is kind of a bad time to show you right now because 
I am planning outfits, so it's a disaster. Um, this one's from Princess Polly, super cute. And um, yeah, I just think it's like super cute. We put the coffee table at the end of the bed. The bed used to be this way before, but now it's like the perfect amount of room on each side for our nightstands. And um, it's football Sunday today, so there's no TV in here, but we put the huge TV like this and it kind of looks really funny when you first walk in but when you're at the angle in bed it's literally you laying down with only tv so it's like a really cool like movie experience and yeah i'm just getting ready to meet with danielle and we're gonna try to shoot four looks together so i have my looks all piled up right here i'm super excited about all of them and I'm just planning the last look right now. I think I'm gonna wear these with it. It's so cold and snowy out though, so I don't really know how well this top is gonna work. Maybe I'll shoot this one indoors somewhere. This is my first look. I'm shooting with Princess Polly. This coat is so amazing. You guys have probably already seen it on my Instagram. So again, just make sure you guys always follow me on Instagram because you'll see my outfits a little bit quicker a lot of the times. And I'm just on my way to meet Danielle at the mall and she's doing a return or an exchange, I think. And then we're gonna buy Instax mini film because we're kinda gonna do like a, a Polaroid shoot today for one of our looks. I'm super excited about that. I'll take you for a little bit of behind the scenes, but I didn't bring my tripod, so I might not be able to prop you up at the best angle. So we'll just kind of see how that goes. We just finished with, oh my gosh, why is my flop? <laughs> oh, we just finished our first, first. outfit and we're changing into our second. Third outfit. Smile. I literally got home and got cozied into bed. Um, Dale brought me Doritos, which I was craving yesterday so much. This is some um, Perrier water, and we're gonna watch a Halloween movie in bed. He's having dinner, but I already ate at Cactus Club, so I'm just gonna have chips for a snack. This lighting is making me look super red, but I swear I'm not. It's just nighttime. Um, I'm getting ready to go to bed. It's Sunday night now. I hope you guys had a good time following along with my week. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and also check me out on Instagram. And right before I go, I will give you kind of like skincare update that nobody asked for. So all of those like whiteheads are like going away now. I remember saying that that was kind of like a problem after my facial and my skin like texture is like really good and a lot of the acne like went away like the little bumps and blackheads and stuff so just those ones that like sprouted up and caused a problem but everything else is like much better. So yeah that was my little skincare update. Goodbye.